So I see there are coaches from all the different divisions. So I will talk about the construction and uh, how to manage uh, the building of a team with a talented player. And I precisely, I talk about uh, Travis Diner. And in Capo d'Orlando, it was very useful for me, the experience with Gianmarco Pozzecco, two similar players. So we had the possibility uh, to have in the first year of the Italian Championship a player like Travis Diner, who went to us. And we saw he had some skills that we thought were important. And he played for a while in the NBA, a uh, small white guy. And we saw he had some skills that now are mm, basketball, pretty poor for this sense. Uh, there were not players like him. We had some physical problems at the beginning, but at the end of the year, we had some confirmation. And so to play some fun basketball and uh, uh, important basketball, uh, we had to put uh, beside him some kind of players, precise kind of players. And I would very like that uh, to receive some questions by you uh, at the end, not only related to the speech, And like you, like many of you, uh, I coached in uh, all the different divisions. I coached in the fifth division, for example. And I know uh, what, what it means to coach uh, in uh, semi-professional leagues or, or the professional league. So the first thing we did with Travis Diener is, was to put in an optimal condition And it was very important for him because uh, he, wa he wa was coming uh, from some physical problems. And we worked all together with uh, medical staff uh, uh, in order to build uh, um, specific work to him, not overloading him uh, with mm, too many problems. Here there is. Uh, my, uh, our strength and conditioning coach, Matteo Boccolini. Travis Diner is a particular player. He, is, he plays with heart. He, he can even play uh, with pain. Sometimes he was... Uh, he played with, with the pain uh, with not a great physical condition. And when he play uh, with stress, uh, he is not very reasoning. Uh, he, he can insult me. I, I don't play anymore with you, uh, for you. It's not an easy situation. But at the end, uh, we must understand uh, how is the, the, the player, the guy. I had the experience with uh, Gianmarco Pozzecco and I, I think these players are uh, uh, crazy good guys. Uh, teammates love him, love them. And for the coaches, this is ver a very important point. And the, the fact that the teammates uh, accept uh, all these all the, the leader problems, uh, it's, it's a very important point for the team. So 
So, for example, Tony Easley finished the season as a best, as the best um, two-point shooters for the percentage, uh, and it was worth uh, the worth was of Travis Diner. So we took a quick number five in order to get some very quick screens and easy rolls to find these uh, specific solutions or uh, a quick player from the inbound. Also, a number four who is a shooter in order to play pick and pop to take advantage of all the possible space. Also, a number three who is a shooter. We had Bootsy Thornton. and a shooting guard who could be a combo guard to help the point guard or also score some points. Why all this? Because he, Travis Diner, make all the basketball easier. And it's a very... Uh, pleasant to see basketball played like him, played by him. And I, and I really like players like him. Uh, it's very pleasant for me to, to see these kind of players. Uh, there are many philosophies. And I think players is, uh, is played by players, is made by players. So I must take players uh, for, uh, for, all the, for all their skills, uh, and I must put them into the court uh, for all their uh, mental and physical conditions. So they can read uh, the situation uh, played on the court. And think about it. What we draw on the clipboard, uh, screens, roll, uh, whatever, it all, everything happens. But uh, on the court, there is something more. So it's important to teach the reading, uh, and we can do that, but only to a certain level. That's in, it's very important to put all together uh, players uh, with some. Uh, particular skills, uh, maybe with an extra pass more, able to find a solution. And we try to score uh, in a short time because we don't have low post players. We don't have players uh, able to uh, play with their uh, body play physically, so we try to play in conditions with the open court uh, and to find an open shot. And it means that if I, I come into uh, the front court and I have uh, shooters like uh, Drake Diner or Vanuzzo or uh, Inierski or uh, my son Brian Sacchetti or Bootsy Thornton, so if we can find an open shot with the feet on the ground, uh, three on three, or three on four even, if we have our shot, uh, uh, an open shot, uh, we always take that. It's a confidence uh, situation. Right now, uh, we gain by that. Sometimes we have we had um, a very nice basketball to see, and sometimes a very bad basketball. But uh, it was our choice, and it paid off. Right now, it's a physical situation, and uh, also for the players to put all together.
all of us we play the same basketball because we copy our uh, set plays doesn't matter we don't have this continuity to uh, make ball reversal uh, once or twice and it was for us uh, both positive and negative but but play like Travis Diner when we played more than 15 seconds it was difficult to make him understand because it says that how our basketball is this and uh, in the in the good or the bad way we must play this way so we had some we were against to play basketball like this we have some advantages uh, in offense and some disadvantages in defense Travis is not a defender uh, our big man uh, uh, will uh, suffer near the basket and we're gonna suffer some situations to guard the the small and the and the big men but we already knew that and in defense we have some coverages uh, of cer some certain kind so we played some matchups to uh, to have Travis playing outside to have some rotations from the weak side and on the pivot we try to double team and when we had some problems with uh, the center we try to uh, reverse these situations so for example for example against Milan we had some problems with uh, against Borussis so we tried to double team him and we took our center away and we played with the four so I suffer near the basket in defense but in the offense we try to take an advantage from these situations because we try to play with the four outside we did it against Milan against Brindisi and we paid, uh, these situations paid off. So we try to reverse these situations, uh, disadvantage in defense and an advantage in offense. And as I said, it's a physical condition speech. At the beginning we did, we do a uh, lot of conditioning, we play 5 on 0 and we played a lot. All the trainings we played a lot and almost half of our training uh, we play 5 on 5, full court or half court because we want to create situations uh, game situations and we want to train game situations so I want to show now some situations with a player like Travis Travis looks for these situations also without the pick and roll he tries to create these situations he has two golden hands and he has his eyes on the back of his head plays under the, the block line so he creates these situations to 
have not two, but even three situa uh, solutions. So there is nothing particular. I didn't teach him anything particular, but he, he does it on his own. So another situation here. You cut and go to the corner, you move in the opposite way. And it's the same solution. Is anticipated, he plays back door. And you go to the other way. And we arrive with the number four. We have number four shooter and we play uh, this pick and roll. He pops out, he flashes inside, and he has uh, the two shooters on the other side. The problem is they switch, different switch. So we have this solution because he tries to go inside. We try to play the triangle with the number five. I play his defender and the number five defender was here. So we don't have many possibilities. I don't want to let Travis Diner shoot. I don't want to let uh, Ignerski uh, or Vanuzzo shooting, so we had this problem in this situation. What, we, what did we do? So, so if we had Vanuzzo or Ignerski playing like five, uh, he opened and we had this situation. I need two defenders. He sent into the to the baseline. So many times we changed the angle of the screen and we played this situation trying to go inside. And the problem was to find uh, another man open. We, in other situation, we want them to fake the screen, then moving in the in the post, and we rescreen, passing him, and playing the screen here in the middle, with the other man creating this situation, trying to play a flash getting the ball and uh, playing uh, in another situation. So fake the, block, the, fake the screen. So we try to find a solution, a motion solution. Questo scappi subito, non andare a fare questo lavoro di blocco e via. Arrivi, come vedi che il tuo uomo 
come già là niente ti butti fuori là hai capito? hai due passi via fuori oh, via su via e vai dentro and go inside and we have this situation and we played this situation again we had uh, Inierski or Vanuzzo and looking for this situation for opening and shooting. So I need three defenders more. try to play the usual horn, uh, playing the screen and then going inside. And we, had, we tried to have the two dinners uh, in these particular situations. You number four over there. Sorry, I made a mistake. You both high, high post. You guys under the basket play like uh, as number two, Drake Dinner, and number three. So you. So you use the screen and then you go to the corner, you screen for him. You, you use the screen and then another screen here. After the screen you go to the corner and we play these situations because uh, Drake Dinner shoots much better uh, off the dribble uh, by the left uh, than by the right. He can score from uh, a very distant range. a show, a defensive show, then the screener goes inside and then with a, a player in the corner we play triangle. It was the goal uh, of our play. Try to pass over because if he follows you You're playing like, like us because we played bad with the screens. Use the screen. Sometimes it may happen. Number three there. Sometimes it may happen. By reading the situations, then as the ball arrives, we can go. We can give the ball to number four.
Let's go back to the screen here. Same thing, go back to the screen here. Stop. The problem was to teach Easley to read, to look what was happening behind him because we, don't, we didn't need a screen if the defensive player was here. I don't need the screen because uh, I go suddenly immediately inside and I have a, and we, then we will have a, an open player. You must look, you must watch where the defensive player is. So if he's coming, I make a step and go inside. So you play the back screen here and then play in the triangle in the corner. So it was important reading how to go coming out. So we try to playing uh, as a mirror, but we didn't manage very well. And we played the, the, the same way uh, on both the sides. Now we change four and five. Same thing, but, but we change the position of four and five. You must give him the time to let him go away in the corner. I want them, the, the, the three more players outside the three point line. Go back. Vai. Guardate cosa succede. Lui ha 
Look at what happened. At a certain moment, we want a flash of this player. He goes inside to look what happened. If he's attacked, if they close with this man, we have an open shot from there. And we use this uh, spot to find a solution. Keep the ball. You play flash this way and you go down. Play again. I don't want an open shooter that if he's free, uh, and, and if he's free, he doesn't shoot. I don't like that. Obviously, the, the starting five players uh, have some uh, more possibilities to, to, to miss because they are the best players. But I want the players to be confident. If they are free, they must shoot. Because we don't have uh, alternatives to give the ball inside. We must play uh, motion and creating a space by moving the players and moving the ball. Screen. Every time, Drake Diner is much better. Because Drake Diner is much better to go to the left, so he's sending to the right. And then same speech, uh, change the screen, go inside deeply, Automatically, he must know that if he gets the ball here or he dunks, or there is a, a player in the corner and a player on the other side. So in these situations, we changed four and five. Okay. So first thing is try to get the ball and staying very wide. 
So instead of going to the corner, we play here. Don't stay in the middle, but a little moved. And we have this situation. Or either the defense play this show and you are the shooter. And we found the shot of that player. And if they sent this player, we play the clear out and then we send him away. Now, after the screen, you open for a three-point shot. Again. Go back. Stay here. Not in the middle. And then he played the screen here. Just one, two steps and without looking at anything and after as soon as you get the screen, okay. you move. So let's go back with, the, with four and five in the same positions. So you go, you open to get the ball, you screen. They play sending to the baseline and there is, uh, they, you fake to go, you get the ball, play on the other side, pick a roll on the other side, you open, and we go back of the same concept, if they send to the baseline, we play on the other side to go to the other side. in order to have the number five not ready. Fake. We don't have any more solution. It's logical that we, uh, we must have uh, players like Travis Diner and, and like, uh, like his cousin Drake because he, they have this reading to play this solution. It was a trait of play to uh, put emphasis on this situation. If you don't manage, uh, let's try to move the defense. And the players wanted this situation. And uh, talking about something else, it was like wasting time. 
and it was very difficult uh, in emergency situation when we talked about moving the things. So it was very difficult for us to have alternatives. So, so additional plays we have, we, we copied that one, uh, two posts, number four and number five, two in the corner, three on that side, cut for the screen, three the corner, four screening for five, and screening for the ball. It's the first or the second. We And we had the same situation of pick and roll. The only point is to play with motion to find a solution, not static. Look how many players you had. You dribbled twice and there were four. In Euroleague, in Euroleague, players don't allow to get the ball inside. You want to win, you score from outside. Let's finish with the pick and roll. Do the same thing. And as he moves, uh, I'm here. So we fake, you faked, okay. you fake and you go back. And as you move, you screen this way. And if they played down, we to contain, we tried um, an open three point shot. This is the idea or playing fast, this is not easy. Okay. 
So you need good players. If you have poor players, you you win few games. As Pro Professor Dido Guerrieri and former coach said, if you have good players, you can win. Otherwise, you can't. But every player can improve, but uh, every player can improve, but in order to win the game, you need good players. It's very difficult that I train a mediocre point guard uh, in a very good way and make him, him a new Travis Diener. It's, it's very, very difficult. Because players like Travis Diener and Pozzecco have some, something that nobody teaches them, nobody taught them. I can coach for a very long time, but I never have, I'll never have players like Travis Diener or Pozzecco, because Mother Nature gave, gave them uh, a talent that, that uh, a mediocre player can't have. Now I would like to have some questions about what we did. So for example, zone defense that was shown by Coach Repeja yesterday, I saw that. And I did it for months. And I had Travis and Drake in the first line, in the zone defense. Five whites in offense with a, with a post, 1-3-1. One, one. And 2-3 zone defense. You did this this good, this job. And I remember when we were children, the, the first line uh, ran a lot. You go to the, the post, the ball goes back, the ball moves this way. After, twi after two times, the players were here. And Travis, I told Travis to stay in front of the post. Travis stayed in front of the post, and he, he couldn't do that. <laughs> And he, he told me, uh, no. And I love players like Travis Diner and Pozzecco. We have Jack Devecchi, a very good defender. And if I coach the national team, I bring Jack Devecchi. I, I keep you here. Maybe I need five minutes in the six games, but everybody has his visions. <laughs> Sorry, I lost. <laughs> It, it's because the age. <laughs> With I show Travis some films. I don't want you to defend like Jack, but in acceptable way. <laughs> but and he told me, Meo, do you think I'm coming here for for defend? <laughs> and what you can do with that? 
what, what you can do with a player like that. And also is an asshole. <laughs> And when he wants, he defends, maybe for three minutes, but he defends. And I, I want when he when he will go to the national team with Pianigiani, <laughs> uh, with the ball always moving, I never sees the ball. And I will want to see the the national trainings with Pianigiani. I will gonna film him. We have fines if he kicks the ball. Maybe he kicked one, 100 balls. And I would like to, to see the fines. And then it's good. Uh, it's like Pozzeco. And when we had in Capodolando, Pozzeco was with Wallace. He was very friend with Wallace. He, they went to disco. He penetrated with Wallace. And and Pozzeco scored with foul. And he told Wallace, uh, do you, what do you want to do? Do you want to block me? You're white. So then he, he apologized. <laughs> and then the next day, he, he went to the, to the locker room with a, with a big cake, uh, with, right, with wrote, uh, uh, I love you, Jay, uh, Jay, Way, Jay Wallace. And it's very important that teammates accept the leader. I really coach in uh, very different divisions. <laughs> and I have, now I have assistant coaches. Uh, with the, they tell me uh, we're 11, we're 10. How can we do the training? Because we are we have the the trainings uh, for 12 players, but we have, we must be flexible. And it's very important to be flexible uh, also for the low level. In order to win uh, championships, I need to win 50-48. We won uh, against Cantu uh, games on, on the 60s point. But I think that coach must try to win the games for sure, but because uh, only one win, and you as a coach at the end of the year, you, if you don't, if you didn't win, you must have the satisfaction to play uh, a funny basketball. If you must have fun, and you must. At the end of the year, you must have the possibility to say that uh, that player never scored and then he can score. For example, so if you finish that your players have improved, 
give you strength to go on and you can tell I do the good I did a good job. Last year we won uh, two games in a row uh, at the last second against Bologna and we passed the second row uh, the, the, the the first round. For example, this year we lost uh, uh, three games against Cantu by missing the last shot. So we must accept that. We must upset what happens on the court. We, we, you must upset that some, sometimes uh, there is some, someone better than you. It was a pleasure for me.